Alright guys, welcome to the Tech Source. Today we will be taking a look at the AMD Phenom 2 6 core 1055T. And there goes my cell phone. You're watching the Tech Source. Alright, so we're taking a look at the uh, AMD Phenom 2 and it's the 6 core. And this is not the Black Edition, so it's the 1055T, as I already said. So, uh, without further ado, we can crack it open, but first let's take a look at the box, actually. So it's advanced HD performance, apparently. Very nice, multi-core processor, as we know, it's a 6-core. It also features Cool and Quiet 3, and um, it also has AMD Direct Connect architecture, 64, so cool. And also, 3-year warranty, that's nice, if you're not overclocking. Um... It says included in the box is the processor, installation guide, limited warranty information, blah, 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 blah. Cool, in lots of different languages. And on the other side, this is the AMD Ultimate Vision. So this will be, that's pretty cool. And built your, build your PC with the Vision technology. Nice. Anyways, let's crack this thing open. Wow, that failed. There it goes. So it didn't look like I needed my uh, screwdriver to open, help open it up. So... Uh, what to look at first? Let's look at the processor. So we got our little Phenom case pads, which you're paying like two hundred dollars for. The Phenom itself, very nice. Uh, warranty plus how to install a CPU. Shows all the different sockets. So socket F, socket nine forty seven four seven five four. Wow, that one's old. A 939, nah, that's a bit older, and AM2, AM2 Plus, and AM3. Cool. Mm, lots of different languages. More languages. Holy crap. This thing's huge. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, sorry, I hit the camera. Shoot. Alright, so. Cool, it tells you how to install it. Oh, wait, that's for... It, go, it does the installation guide for 7... 754, 939, and 940. And then it shows you how to install AM2, AM3, and socket F. Wow, it shows you how to do everything. Cool. And it has information about your warranty and things like that. All that unimportant stuff you can throw away your manual. Don't need it. Actually, no. Don't do that. Uh, next, we'll look at our heatsink. Ooh, looks like it's got copper base, and it looks like it's already got pre applied thermal gels. So. Uh, this one looks pretty beefy compared to the uh, Athlon heat sinks. Wow. Yeah, this is quite beefy. A lot beefier than the uh, AMD, uh, or I mean the Intel i7 heat sink. This has got heat pipes and everything. That's a pretty wicked heat sink. Really densely packed. Um, this fan's going to be blowing cool air down on the fins. Um, yeah, this is probably a pretty good stock cooler. I would still recommend getting an aftermarket cooler, but hell, this is like looks ten times better than an Intel cooler. Shit, I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, and uh, we'll take a closer look at the processor. I kind of glanced over it before. I'll take out the oh, case badge. Looks like it's pretty good in there. So open that up. I always want to be careful handling your processor. See, unlike the Intel processors, you got look at all the little gold pins on there. Yeah, that's made of gold. So you don't want to bend those. So you want to be very careful when you're uh, handling it. As you can see, look, you can look down them. All of them. So, I'm just going to put that back in there and uh, wait till installation. So, anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the unboxing of the AMD Phenom 2 uh, 6 core X6 1055T. And uh, yeah, it's a really good processor. And if you're looking on a budget for a 6 core, Sam definitely one to check out. Uh, I highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, stick around. Remember to rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. And join our Facebook group. You guys always get news first. Oh, hey, one more thing before we go. I totally forgot to tell you the guys the clock speed of this thing. I kind of ripped it. So, let's see here. Uh, it runs at 2.8 gigahertz, and it has a 9 meg cache. I totally forgot to tell you that, so sorry. And it also has a 3.3 gigahertz turbo core. So, it, what it does is it basically it overclocks some cores. It's depending on the application. I totally forgot to talk about that. Uh, uh, this will be at the end of the video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, let's hope I don't screw up again. <laughs> That's the cool thing about these new 6 cores. They got the turbo memory. It's kind of like the Intel thing.